The series is the streaming service's most watched series ever, Netflix's Bridgerton has taken the internet by storm, mostly because of its steamy sex scenes and chemistry between the actors. Actress Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope Featherington in the Regency period drama series, admitted that watching episodes with her mom was particularly embarrassing. Sorrowful sows, why they're tasteless. Tighter. Tactless, mama. Tighter! Is she to breathe, mama? I was able to squeeze my waist into the size of an orange and a half when I was Prudence's age. Your sister shall do the same. I knew pretty well how the episodes went and the amount of sexiness in them, Coughlin admitted on the Make a Train podcast. When I showed her the first episode and Johnny Bailey's bum appeared very quickly into episode 1, she was like, what is going on? The 34-year-old joked, I had to say, it's not my fault I didn't write it, it's romance novels, and it's a really important part of the story, but I was still in trouble. Of course I'm here, sister. I'll never miss such an important day for you and our family. No, you would just be late for it. In particular, episode 6 titled Swish was the most blush-inducing episode to watch with family. With episode 6 I thought, oh my god what am I going to do? It's non-stop shagging. I am going to be in so much trouble. To help you to find a reason every day to enjoy the absence of your dear papa. I said, shagging on the Graham Norton show, and I was dead, she said in reference to how the Duke of Hastings, Reed Jean Page, and Daphne Bridgerston, Phoebe Dynever, celebrate their honeymoon. Rather than marry you and take your dream away, I would have died for you. But Coughlin figured out a way to avoid feeling awkward. I was sweating when I watched it back. What I ended up doing was just fast forwarding through all the sexy bits, and at the end of the episode, she said, that one was very short. Coughlin explained. Last week, Netflix announced that Bridgerton is the streaming service's most watched series ever, with over 82 million households taking it in. A record 82 million households around the world chose to watch Bridgerton in its first 28 days, Netflix announced in a press release. And the show has made the top 10 in every country except Japan, hitting number 1 in 83 countries including the US, UK, Brazil, France, India and South Africa. Indeed, the success of Bridgerton propelled the books into the New York Times bestseller lists for the first time, and 18 years after they were first published, the statement concluded. A shockingly prolific family, noted for its bounty of perfectly handsome sons and perfectly beautiful daughters. The series is based on the best-selling books by Julia Quinn and developed for TV by showrunner Chris Van Dusen and producer Shonda Rhimes. Bridgerton was renewed for a second season last week, and the new episodes will focus on Daphne's older and very single brother, Anthony Viscount Bridgerton, who is played by Jonathan Bailey. I do not know how to do this. Yes. You do. Daphne. I know you do.